before lighting your boiler on logs, it's important to check the temperature of the buffer store. The buffer store temperatures can be seen to the left hand side of the boiler on the main screen and we can see we've got 48 degrees at the top of the buffer. So this is sufficiently cool to allow us to have a full logs burn. To enter log modes, press the on off button and then select logs. If you were to select logs automatic, the boiler would light itself with the um, hot air blower. We can see as soon as we select logs that the boiler empties its feed auger of pellets and we can see the status line here is a countdown timer and waiting until feed is empty message. That will remain now until, uh, until that action is complete and then the boiler will ask us to light it. You can see that the um, symbol here, the logs with the, with the flame coming out of them, is, uh, that's there because there is in fact a request from the buffer to the boiler. Can we see here it says buffer needed energy request on boiler. Okay, so now the pellet feed auger is empty. We can still see that the screen still says burner off. This means that we need to switch the boiler on. Start. Do you want to activate glow holding? Yes, this will make it easier to ignite the boiler next time round and if you continue watching this video you'll see how. So now the message has changed to ignite logs manually and we can see the fan speed is now at 69 percent it's time to light the boiler we can see inside the chamber now uh, for the benefit of uh, this film we've actually removed the smoke flap which uh, obscures part of the uh, loading door it looks like this um, obviously that would normally be installed but um, what we need to do now to uh, prepare for the, uh, the logs is open up the flap here, take the slide off, pop the flap back down over the insert auger and now we're ready to roll. We can see the pellets have fallen down onto the edge of the grate that's fine, that's no problem. So I'm going to load the boiler now with um, my uh, nice dry kindling. Like so. And now simply simply put some lighted cardboard on top. So I get my matches. Cut. <laughs> Um, can you see that? Yeah, cool. It's a bit weird because there's a time delay between here and here.
and we can hear that the fire is beginning to crackle and roar nicely. So now we simply load our intermediate sized logs on top of that. At this stage it's best to put your rough logs on there because they will uh, be uh, easy to catch. can load the chamber all the way to the top. If you're lighting a boiler which has auto switch over, you will also have left the uh, slide, the pellet slide in place. Um, in which case it's important that you load at least one log underneath the slide, otherwise the uh, the air channels to uh, the air channels on either side of the boiler will be uh, more or less open, and you'll get a, a fire which burns inconsistently, and uh, can can lead to a failure later on. We can see that these logs are slightly shorter than half a meter, but that I am loading them all in parallel with one another, all in the same orientation. And that's important to stop bridging of the fuel. In a 60 kilowatt machine, you may like to try loading the logs in sideways, so across the chamber. Again, load them all in parallel, but the reason to load them in sideways is that you can fill the chamber more completely. So we're now ready to just shut the door and let the boiler get on with it. With a Therminator boiler, it's possible to reload the boiler during a log's burn. So returning to the boiler screen, we can see how long the present burn has been going for, and we can check our buffer temperature. Now it's very important before you consider reloading the boiler that you have enough space left in your buffer store to take the extra energy. So. Um, Certainly, once the bottom of the buffer store, depending on the uh, design of your system, is anywhere near the high 60 degrees, then you really, you really want to consider whether or not uh, reloading is a good idea. Um, basically, when the boiler temperature um, hits 82 degrees, it will go into part load. Uh, and uh, this is a situation that you want to avoid. So. Uh, Always check your buffer store temperature before you reload the boiler. But reloading it is simply a matter of opening the door, at which point you will see this message appear. Door is open, close door at the latest, and then a countdown timer from 300 seconds. You'll also see that the fan speed has increased to 100%. This is in an attempt to suck the smoke away rather than let it come up in your eyes when you open the door. So now all we need to do is throw the extra wood in and um, we can go straight back to uh, closing, the, closing the burn chamber door and uh, close the outer door and uh, you're off again. So if you want to use your boiler uh, with the automatic ignition in logs mode, it's really quite a simple matter, especially if you've recently used the glow holding function, as uh, I will demonstrate shortly. But first of all, I just need to show you which buttons to press. So we can see on the screen now that the last burn that the boiler carried out was uh, 
2 hours and 35 minutes long. That's displayed here, burn off. Uh, we can see that there's still a requirement for the boiler to light, as uh, indicated by the, uh, the logs which are on fire uh, on the right-hand side of the boiler. Um, and so all we need to do is press the on-off button, select logs automatic, and then press start. Again, we get asked if we want to activate the glow holding, and I suggest that we do. So now the boiler's actually trying to light itself using the uh, hot air blower. So uh, I'm just going to open the door now to the boiler and show you how to load the uh, fire in this case. As we have recently used the glow holding feature, you'll find inside the ash chamber quite a lot of charcoal. So the trick is just simply to bash this charcoal down and fill up the fill up the chamber or fill the crucible rather where the grate is lying with the charcoal embers like so and then simply all you need to do is put your logs straight on top just use the roughest logs first of all put them on straight onto that charcoal bed and literally from there load the chamber all the way to the top and you will find that you have a very easy to start fire. Thank you.